So this is the final part of the primer. This is on the challenges for the planet section. Question 4a. I study figure 4a. Describe one difference in the predicted global sea level rise for 2050 and 2100. Here we are. I want to have a look at this graph and think about all the variations I've got. Obviously, my y-axis here, uh, predicted sea level change in centimetres. I've only got data for two different dates. Plotting's a bit interesting here. I've got a maximum, minimum, and obviously a range in the middle. And from that, I could extract an average or a median point if I wanted to. So, back to the question. I need to describe one difference. So I can only talk about one thing. Maybe I'm going to talk about the difference between, between the two maximums. Or I could talk about the range here. Why does the range, the fact that the range is bigger here than it is here. Don't get stuck into why, because we're talking about describe. But you just talk about the fact that the range is greater in one place than the other. Or the rate of sea level rise is higher in one place than the other. Uh, explain two natural causes of climate change since the last ice age right this is kind of two two mark questions isn't it you've got one natural cause of climate change maybe talk about sunspots explain how sunspots reflect solar activity and so if the sun's hotter the earth's hotter there's one and then i'm talking about something else like for instance volcanism and the impact that volcanism can have on the earth note explain two natural causes of climate change it doesn't actually say making the earth warmer so we could talk about volcanism leading to global dimming i guess and on to the next question uh look for b below same place different time glacier has retreated an example of glacier retreat in switzerland between 85 and 07 Climate change is causing rapid retreat of glaciers in some parts of the world. Suggest how this melting of glaciers can have a negative effect on people. Well, it's a suggest question. Four marks. You're probably going to come up with a couple of points and reason out your points. doesn't necessarily have to be a place you can name as an example. You just have to write about uh, an idea and sort of justify it or reason it. Uh, well, what is a glacier? large piece of ice that melts in the summer and grows in the winter if there's less of it to melt it's going to provide less water so maybe that could affect people's source of water maybe it could affect farming because people use water for that switzerland famous uh, destination for skiing and mountaineering loss of glacier maybe that causes a, a loss of tourism we've got to talk about a negative effect so even though in some places, like Greenland, some of the retreating ice has exposed minerals, we wouldn't talk about it here. We need to be careful that we only do what we're instructed to. We now need to describe a global response to climate change. Again, this is a question of reading. This is important to read the question. One, global response to climate change. Three, so it's got to be described in some depth. Also note global so you can't talk about i could cycle instead of uh, going in my car yeah so this is paris cop 21 maybe or you could talk about an example of a uh, ngo having a globally organized publicity campaign to try and get people to live simply for instance but i would say on this one you're probably aiming towards uh international agreements like the Kyoto Protocol <coughs> and fine oh no not quite yet describe the changes in the rate of deforestation again we've got to go back to the resource booklet here's the deforestation here's a described question worth three so we want general details and exceptions a general comment here Generally, the rate's falling. The amount of deforestation each year has got smaller. Detail. Now I've got to use data to support my answer. So one of these marks can be reserved for the appropriate use of data. And so my overall trend was it's getting smaller. 
So I could take the first one and the last one, say over the whole period from 2004 to 2012, it's declined from this number to this number, or I could subtract this number from that, say declined by that amount. Um, three mark question, I'm probably going to need a bit more detail to get the last mark. I could talk about extremes, like this was the biggest one, this was the smallest one, if I haven't already mentioned that. I could mention this, which is an exception. As you can see, it declined until 2007. There was a slight rise, and then there's a decline. Now, my overall trend, I said it's all falling. And so it's reasonable to mention this exception here, where actually it increased in 2008, and then continued to decline. General detail exception on a describe the graph, ensuring that you use data. Now and finally, big question, nine marks. Use examples. Examine the policies used by large organizations in an attempt to make themselves more sustainable. Now, if you're on this question, regardless of the uh, precise detail of the subject, you're going to get good marks if you can use technical terminology, if you can make frequent references to a case study and make it clear that you know your case study, that you can really talk about say the policies of Unilever and you can pick out two or three of them and say they do this in India to uh, collect their waste, they do this to reduce the amount of electricity consumed or reduce the amount of air miles they accumulate. So this one you're going to get a lot of marks for being able to use technical terminology, phrase your discussion well and get down to the real detail of an example. You're going to have to do that a few times. This question is all about depth of example and technical terminology. And then you're finished.